this is Cliff. So in this next video, we're going to start coming up with some of the um, <clears throat> sheet metal that holds the moving parts within the conveyor. Okay. So what we're going to do is we're going to open the frame weldment. So I set a keyboard shortcut measure to be M. So I just want to get a measurement. And it's 100 inches, so we'll add a foot of either side, so it'll be 124 inches. Okay, so new part. Control 8. And draw a line. Now I'm going to draw a piece of bit sheet metal. So smart dimension, control D. Okay, and this may change later, but this is just sometimes when you start designing, if you don't really know what it's going to look like in the very end, unless a customer is giving you the specifications. We'll just go with 12 inches, and we'll do a 1.5 inch slip. So we're going to set a couple of relationships. We click the line in this point, midpoint, and we're going to select these two lines and make them equal. Then we go insert sheet metal base. With this to be, um, it's going to be midplane 124. So the sheet metal 0.1196 is 11 gauge and 0.25 quarter inch. That's usually the smallest size of the die. And um, the smallest we could do would be 0.125 because that's about the thickness. You don't want the radius to be. It can only be what the thickness is. It can't be smaller. For the K factor, we use a third. Uh, that's worked for me for in the past. So I, I know that works. Hit OK. And this is going to be plain carbon steel. Okay. So um, we're going to put some holes for bearings here and maybe some mounts. We will do that later. For right now, I'm going to save this. So I'm going to call this left hand. And we'll also do one for right hand. So I hit save as copy. And continue. So that way we have two files. Okay, so what we're going to do next Alright, so we have to get, we get to decide which way the end feed of this conveyor is going to be. So typically, the, the going to go this direction from over here to over here. So we're going to go to insert part. Actually, I'm going to make a shortcut of that. So tools. So insert, oh, I don't see it there, it must be down here, here we go, so let's try I, no, so let's do control I, see if that works.
control I. So we inserted that, and the next thing we need to cut, make a shortcut for move body copy. That's kind of the equivalent of mate, but for weldments. I may have already set it to M, so let's try. Nope. Okay, let me look up this again. So it's features, insert feature, move copy. Okay, that's what it is. So, close, customize. Okay. I'm going to try reassigning this because it might be getting confused. So, go to Tools, Customize, Move, Copy. Okay, let's try Control M. Oops. Wait, let's see. Okay, that's what went wrong. So it's the control M. So this is the body I want to move. And then the mate settings is going to be. So I want to flip the direction. So now I'm going to make the top of this to this. Click add. I'm going to do a 12 inch offset. Flip the dimension. So next, I'm going to do Control Insert and do the right hand one. Control M. I'm going to click on this. And click Add. Click Add. Click OK. OK. I'm going to save this. And so now <coughs> we've got most of what's needed. Um, we have a lot of the the parts that aren't going to be moving. So what I might do next is I might want to start looking into the type of chain and drive and mounting features and also um, how I would connect this to another conveyor. I'm not quite sure what that's going to look like, but thinking I might put a curved conveyor here and have it go out to the side with some type of mechanism to uh, transfer the product. Alright, thank you very much for watching.